Right now at 5, picking up the pieces after storms roll through southern Wisconsin. We'll take you live to Rock County to assess some significant damage in Beloit. Also, we'll check in on day two of the trial of a woman accused of murdering a Middleton car salesman last year. And what's at stake as the state Supreme Court weighs in on a power struggle between the governor and the state legislature. You're watching News 3 now at 5. And we thank you for staying with us. A live look from our Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam. A cloudy day across southern Wisconsin. Yeah, a little chilly too, but a much different scene than we saw last night. Heavy rain and winds made their way across the area last night, and cleanup is underway today in many communities. That's right. We have team coverage tonight looking at the impact of those storms. Catherine Merck live in Beloit as crews are continuing the cleanup process. But before we in a look at let's get a look at uh, what we're tracking ahead tonight we'll head out to the weather patio Jacob is taking a look at the forecast yeah the winds have really picked up throughout the day we had some showers earlier dry right now but the big story right now out here is that it is pretty windy now temperatures aren't too bad they obviously are a bit cooler seeing a current temperature of just 55 degrees but those winds 16 miles per hour right now and these are sustained winds some of the wind gusts are exceeding 30 miles per hour some places are seeing a sustained wind up above 20 miles per hour. So definitely going to be a windy evening for us here and the windy conditions are expected to continue into the overnight hours. Like I mentioned, we are dry right now, not seeing any precipitation, but obviously we saw those storms roll through last night. A lot of storm reports across our area. Thankfully, there were no tornado reports, even though we did have a few tornado warnings. Uh, there was hail up to an inch in diameter reported in Middleton and down in Beloit where Catherine Merck is reports of four down trees. So the storms in Beloit seem to pack a pretty big punch as there was a, uh, quite a bit of storm reports around the city. Now for this evening, we are going to see cloudy skies kind of become clear for a moment during the early overnight hours as we're going to see temperatures in the 50s during the evening, dropping into the 40s. We do have a chance of rain tomorrow morning, and then it looks like rain will be likely during the day tomorrow, but we're not going to see any thunderstorms. I'll take you through the forecast, though, on the chance of rain tomorrow coming up a little bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. Now, last night's storm damaged some buildings and streetlights in Beloit. As crews continue to make repairs, our Catherine Merck joins us live with more about one building's significance to the city and what to look out for as you make your way home tonight. Catherine? Susan and Eric Cruz have been out here all day working to repair what has been damaged since last night's storms. Take a look behind me. You can see people currently working on the roof of this building. High winds destroyed the roof of the city's pump house at White Avenue and Riverside Drive. This building was home to the water utility that served residents of Beloit going back all the way to the 1800s. This building was on the National Registry of Historic Landmarks. The space was being occupied by Beloit. Lloyd 200, Axe Housing, and Friends of the Riverfront, which are all nonprofit organizations. No injuries were reported, but a man behind some of the cleanup today says a staple of the street corner looks completely different. I drove by it this morning at 4.30 and saw it, and I, I was kind of hurt me a little bit. It kind of sucks to see our city hurt like this, so it's nice having the little hand and putting it back together. The storm also damaged the traffic signals at the intersection of White Avenue and Riverside Drive and White Avenue and Park Avenue. So if you're making your way home on your evening commute, make sure to be aware of that. There's multiple street lights that are still being worked on by city crews. So make sure to keep it slow and follow all the traffic rules as you make your way home. Reporting live in Beloit, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. Catherine, thank you. Stay up to date on the weather with our First Warn Forecast weather app. It has hourly forecasts, road conditions, and the latest radar. You can download it for free in your phone's app store. Just search WISC weather. Well, today was day two of the trial of a woman accused of shooting and killing an employee at a Middleton car dealership last March. 24-year-old Jakira Anderson took the stand today to try to defend her actions. She's charged with first-degree intentional homicide by use of a dangerous weapon in the death of Kalsu Samba. The shooting stems over a dispute about a vehicle she had recently leased from that dealer. According to court documents, Anderson went to the dealership to either get her money back or exchange that vehicle. One of Samba's co-workers says he had been dealing with Anderson and asked her to leave. Prosecution today showed video of the moment Samba tried to get Anderson out the door, even pushing her. Anderson reportedly told police she pulled out weapon to scare Samba, but wasn't trying to kill him. Jurors will be back in court tomorrow. 
New tonight at 5, the man killed in a shooting on Madison's north side last week has now been identified. Today, the Dane County Medical Examiner's Office identified the man as 31-year-old Andre Rice. Rice was found with a gunshot wound outside an apartment complex in the 1900 block of Northport Drive on April 10th. He later died at the hospital. 27-year-old Tamar Brianna Beasley is facing charges of first-degree intentional homicide side stemming from the shooting. Madison police are searching for a suspect who they say allegedly forcefully touched a female jogger. It happened yesterday at 530 in the evening on the Capital City Trail near Walter Street and Ulbrick Park. A woman was jogging on the trail when the suspect approached her and slapped her. The victim describes him as a white man in his early 30s with a shaved head and a black jacket and shoes. The jogger was able able to safely make it out of the area. Seven people are without their home after a fire damage the duplex last night. Just before 10, the fire officials were called to that duplex on Cimarron Trail on the city's west side. They were able to put out the fire in the basement. Now that fire was contained to a single unit. However, the neighborhood unit and its occupants were displaced due to power loss. Cause of that fire is still under investigation. No injuries were reported at the scene. At the Capitol, the state Supreme Court heard a new case that could decide the balance of power between the governor and the state legislature. And our political reporter Will Keneally is there and has the latest. At the heart of this case is a fight over a stewardship program and whether the legislature's powerful budget writing committee gets to sign off on some of those budget purchases. The governor has argued that the Republican-controlled committee has been acting like a fourth branch of government by blocking some of these administrative proposals. Here's more from the arguments this morning. The legislative committee may not veto the executive's decisions in implementing a statutory program, including by spending appropriated money. Now, again, I will say the respondents, I've not seen a single case anywhere in the country that blesses this kind of... <clears throat> This is one of the biggest cases the state Supreme Court has considered since gaining a liberal majority last year. And we'll have more on this case coming up tonight at 6. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. All right, Will, thank you. Wisconsin U.S. Representative Mike Gallagher will resign this Friday. That's according to his office. That leaves Republicans with an even more narrow four-seat majority in the U.S. House. But there are now four major bills heading to the floor this Saturday. Those include bills that would fund allied militaries in both Israel and Ukraine and a bill that would ban TikTok and put sanctions on foreign powers. But today, Gallagher's office is saying that he would have, quote, the flexibility to stay and support the aid package on Saturday. That means Republicans may have another vote to cast during these tense negotiations. Affordable housing complexes are few and far between. And that leaves low-income renters living in places unfit for themselves and their families. Our Maddie Himes joins us now with more. Maddie? Eric, Susan, Woodside Terrace in Beloit houses 120 tenants. Almost all of them are low income, elderly, or disabled. When they were removed from their units to make way for construction, several spoke out about the displacement. Charday Barnes is one of the tenants I spoke with. She claimed the promise of a cost and hassle-free construction process fell flat. Barnes said she broke down when she realized she and her four-year-old niece would have nowhere to go during the construction. I was told that we was going to have places to go and they was going to give us vouchers, but I did not get anything. I didn't get a voucher. After hearing from Barnes and other tenants that their calls for help were going to voicemail, I took their concerns to the property's management team, myself, for answers. You can see that interview alongside my full report tonight on News 3 Now at 10. Looking forward to that, Maddie. We will see you at 10. The Union Terrace Sunburst Chairs are back out today. That ushers in one of the most exciting times of the year. Well, we could use a little sun to go with yeah. those sunburst chairs. Jalen Banks out there right now. He's trying to enjoy opening day. He's got his uh, winter jacket on. <laughs> Jalen, how is it out there? Eric and Susan, I'm not going to lie, even though there's no sun, it's pretty pleasant out. I would say the atmosphere with it being opening day has, it's felt pretty exciting. You know, there's free food, drinks, as you can hear probably behind me. They got Taylor Swift blasting in the background. But one thing about today that we all know, one thing that's unanimously loved across all of our area are the 2,000 green, yellow, and orange chairs that they set on every single summer. But one of the biggest reasons why people love this time of the year and this event in particular, it's because of what it represents. 
the return of the terrace chairs is, is a big deal for the Madison community and further out because it's really a sign of spring and summer coming. So even if it's not spring here in the weather, it's spring in our hearts when the terrace chairs come out. So now this portion of the event runs until six o'clock. So those of you at home, if you want to get out here, uh, the party isn't over just yet because there's actually an open mic night just behind me in the Rat Sculler. So if you have some poetry or if you want to sing, go ahead, hop on the mic uh, and show off what you have. But for now, reporting at the Union Terrace, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now. All right, Jalen Banks will be performing on that open mic tonight. <laughs> Jalen, thank you. All right, turning to a traffic alert, we want you to be aware of this week. North Broom Street will be reduced to one lane of traffic. That'll start on Friday. That's for asphalt paving between West Dayton and West Gorham. In a press release, the city says that work will start 8.30 in the morning Friday and continue until about 3 in the afternoon. So that could be some traffic headaches. Now, during that work, West Dayton will be closed at North Broom, except for emergency vehicles, which will be flagged through that work zone. West Gorham and West Johnson traffic will not be affected. And still to come, a day after that stormy weather, we look ahead with your complete forecast in Jacob Montesano. Plus, how the federal government is taking steps to protect children from online predators. That's coming up next at 5. Stocks ticking downward once again. The Dow off more than 45 points. NASDAQ loses almost 182 points. S&P 500 off 29. We'll be right back. Donate blood at Stoughton Health's upcoming blood drive on April 19th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will be hosted at our Community Health and Wellness Center. Sign up online at bloodcenter.org. I want you. I want fresh air. Uh, hun. You need the experts. The home renewal experts at Belco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Belco. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Watch this. It's all 100% real. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. Nothing has been doctored or tampered with. The very real problem will disappear before your eyes and hers with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes. And the effects will last for hours and hours. Over 1 million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags. It works on sagging jowls, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. In just minutes, you can restore and beautify your face, even look years younger. And the look will last all day or all evening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I'm just in love with the mirror right now. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Prove It Plexiderm trial. You'll see why our customers describe Plexiderm with three words. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. Operators are standing by. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Join Stoughton Health's Dr. Aaron Schwab on April 18th to learn about simple outpatient treatments that can alleviate varicose or spider veins. To register for the free educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. Severe storms leave a historic piece of Beloit's past in ruins. Catherine Merck shows us the efforts to preserve the century-old landmark. Then Will Keneally dissects a state Supreme Court showdown that could shake up legislative power. That's tonight at 6. We warn you first. We have been talking for days about thunderstorm potential. It's next Tuesday, so make sure you're aware of that storm system as it moves on in. First, with the information you need to be prepared and stay safe. First, warn weather. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Moving forward. The Department of Homeland Security announced a campaign today to help prevent child exploitation and abuse online. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says in the past decade, tips for suspected online abuse have increased more than 360 percent. Bradley Blackburn now with more on how this program hopes to help. 
The new campaign called No to Protect aims to educate children and their parents about dangers online. In too many places, the web growing darker and darker. The public awareness effort includes a website that breaks down the growing problem families face. In the 20 years I've been working, I've never seen this many leads come in. A new PSA shows how reports of suspected online exploitation have climbed dramatically in recent years. Predators go where the kids are. In the past, playgrounds, parks. Now, the digital environment is the playground for these kids. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas spoke to CBS Mornings about the goals of the new program even as he faced an impeachment trial in Washington. We just have to raise awareness and teach children and everyone around them how to recognize the predators mm -hmm. when they are about to be victimized, how to protect themselves. No to protect partners include major sports leagues and the parent companies of Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat. But in a report this week, the American Psychological Association said tech companies need to make fundamental changes to their platforms to better protect kids. On CBS Mornings, Meta's global head of safety responded to that criticism. We're not trying to pass the buck to parents, but we all need to work together, whether that's DHS, whether it's us, whether it's parents to help protect kids online. The program says parents should password protect and control access to downloads, set limits on device use, change privacy and location settings, and importantly, keep an open dialogue with kids. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Well, the Department of Homeland Security has also created a new telephone tip line to report suspected online child abuse and exploitation. Tips can also be reported at report.cybertip.org. Well, next tonight, this is the scene in Dubai as the airline Emirates has suspended check-in for passengers departing Dubai due to severe flooding and rain. Just yesterday, nearly four inches fell, forcing flights to be diverted from the world's second busiest airport. Planes looking more like boats as they glided over the flooded tarmac. Emirates says customers should expect delays or cancellations in the days ahead. On the roads in Dubai, the head Heavy downpour forced some drivers to abandon their vehicles and run for safety. Dubai, like the rest of the United Arab Emirates, does not have the infrastructure to handle so much water. Boy, it's very interesting to see, and we have more <laughs> rain ahead. Nothing like that, though. Uh, today, though, just cloudy and cooler today, Jacob. Yeah, and the rain going forward will not be like the rain yesterday. And before I talk about the forecast, I want to show you a few weather photos that were submitted to us. You folks submitted a lot of photos of the storms. This one was sent in by Andy from Oregon. Now, there was some minor rotation oh, near this storm, but this picture definitely looks very ominous. But there also is some beauty with thunderstorms. And here's a look at a photo sent in by Karen from Platteville showing a beautiful rainbow right over the house. If you also notice in the bottom of this uh, picture, there is a little bit of some minor flooding and but we didn't really have a lot of flood reports, which is some good news. Now this photo was sent in by Kristen from Lone Rock showing a rainbow and lightning. Very good photo, Kristen, and a lot of you folks have been awesome with your photo submissions. Keep it up. We will take everything that you send our way. Now if we take a look uh, going forward at the three things we need to know, showers again for Thursday, but it is going to remain cool also as we head towards the weekend. Now next week will warm up a little bit. We do have a few on and off chances of rain next week, but right now the tomorrow looks like the best chance of rain in the near future. So looking at future track, we're going to continue to see cloudy skies overnight. We could see a brief break of with some clear skies, but as we get towards the morning, we're going to see some showers move into our area, really impacting the western half of our area during the morning. And then during the afternoon, we're going to continue to see some scattered showers. Hours. They'll be on and off and they also will be very light, but they will be a little bit inconvenient as they are kind of going to last throughout much of the day. But as we get closer to the evening, that's when they'll start to clear out. So mostly in the morning and afternoon is when we're going to see the most precipitation. And then we are looking to possibly see some clear skies by tomorrow night. But don't worry too much about the rainfall. We're only going to see about a tenth of an inch. Most of our area will see less than a quarter of an inch. Again, places off to the west possibly will see the most. And although it's although we are expected to see the rainfall again, it's not going to be a huge issue. Now, looking at the rain chances over the next seven days after tomorrow, we are going to be dry for the weekend. We do have another chance of rain on Monday and Tuesday, and then we have a few small chances of rain throughout next week. None of the systems are really coming together very strongly. Uh, so right now, 
we kind of just have a slight chance of rain for a lot of the next week, but temperatures are going to be warmer next week. Still going to be near average. As I mentioned, cool over the weekend with highs in the 50s, possibly only 40s for your Saturday. But as we get towards next week, we'll see those highs back near 60, but not a lot of 70s in the forecast. In fact, the only chance we're going to get to 70 looks to be towards the end of next week. Right now we're expecting middle 60s, but we're not going to see those temperatures quite as warm as they were over the weekend over the next couple of days. So again, here's a full look at the to 10 day forecast. We are going to see plenty of sunshine despite the temperatures being cool. But then for next week, we have a lot of slight chances of rainfall. So we'll hopefully have a better idea as to which day specifically we will see rain as we get closer. Now taking a look at your first worn traffic. Pretty good right now. A lot of green uh, belt line green in both directions, interstate green in both directions. A few slowdowns within Madison, but nothing extreme. You know, it is rush hour. It is to be expected, but looking specifically at times eastbound and westbound belt line at, at 15 minutes and some prairie to downtown is also in the green. And that's your first warrant traffic. All right, Jacob, thank you. Just ahead, they've got Caitlin Clark fever in central Indiana as the former Hawkeye and top WNBA draft pick meets the media in her new home. That's coming up next at five. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Have you ever experienced this view? Hi, Andrew Larson here. With Gutter Shutter, you'll never have to experience it again. Please give up this dangerous chore and protect your home's foundation with Gutter Shutter, the strongest, most durable, maintenance-free gutter on the market. Over the past 15 years, my team has installed thousands of maintenance-free gutter systems across South Central Wisconsin. We'd love to come out and show you what Gutter Shutter can do for you and your home, but most importantly, keep you safe and off that ladder. So call today for a free estimate. Like a bowl of cherries, life in Attic Angel is healthy and sweet. Our independent and assisted living lifestyles include newly renovated apartments, engaging social activities, and wellness support that is tailored to you. As time marches on, we promote the idea that life can always be a bowl of cherries. Attic Angel Community, the house that angels built. Want to instantly look more attractive years younger? The solution is whiter teeth, but you love coffee, tea, wine, or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered power swabs. One friend was like, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. Now it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. This is a power swab smile. Call or go online to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. Plus get free shipping. Bet you didn't see that, or that. But if you were an Atlas with front assist and could detect things in .02 seconds, you'd see every scene hidden in this commercial. Let's slow it down and see. Huh, it's a man walking his dogs, and a woman walking her dinosaurs? .02 seconds, it's quicker than the blink of an eye. The Atlas with front assist. Hop in, it's a VW. Get 1.9% APR financing or a $3,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary event. We went to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison last night. I don't really get how the jackpots work. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison actually has had multiple million dollar winners. There are linked progressive slot machines at the same casino where local players increase the jackpot amount. And a standalone progressive jackpot increases when a player plays on an individual machine that isn't linked to any other machine. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, more ways to win. Find your perfect jackpot. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward.
Basketball phenom Caitlin Clark addressed fans and the media today as the newest member of the Indiana Fever. Clark was the number one pick at Monday's WNBA draft after leading the University of Iowa Hawkeyes to two second straight national championships during her college career. The 22-year-old is expected to earn roughly $338,000 over the next four years with the Fever. At her WNBA debut today, she said she's excited to join the team and thank the organization for believing in her. There's a lot of people that are here to support me, um, and I think that just goes right into the pressure thing. Like, I certainly know there's pressure there. That's been, like, my entire career, but for me, like, I just have fun playing basketball. I know this is a team sport. Like, it's not all about me. It's not everything I have to do, and um, when I've been able to understand that, that's allowed me to play my best. This year's WNBA draft broke records, earning close to two and a half million viewers. The regular season kicks off Friday, May 14th, when the Indiana Fever take on the Connecticut Sun. Next tonight, the song Big Papa by the Notorious B.I.G. and ABBA's Dancing Queen are part of this year's group of inductees to the National Recording Registry. Now, the recordings honored by the Library of Congress for their cultural and historical significance include hip-hop, jazz, rock and roll, even a little holiday music. Vladimir Dutier reports. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. From Gene Autry's Christmas classic. Everybody likes my rocket And what's claimed to be the first true rock and roll record ever. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. Be happy. To Bobby McFerrin's a cappella melody. This year's National Recording Registry's inductees Ain't no sunshine when she's gone Help shape music's ever-evolving story. They're about love and heartbreak. You can dance to them. hands in the air for them and thrash through them all but most of all you can sit back and enjoy them now forever etched in music history Vladimir Dutit, CBS News, New York. And we'll have a final check of your first one forecast when we come back. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Mastercraft makes great doors inside and out. Design your door your way using our door designer. Or choose from our large in-stock selection. Get this exterior door with decorative glass for $349.99 after rebate. Update your home with low-maintenance vinyl windows from Childwen. They're durable and energy efficient. Pick up a 24 by 24 vinyl sliding window for only $99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Salisbury Healthcare is here to help. To help with your shoulder pain. Your knee injury. That hip that bothers you. With your foot or ankle pain. We focus on quality. We focus on results. And take time to listen. So that your care is the best care. For you. 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 For you. We're here for you. Sauk Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics. Listening, healing, caring. It's in our nature. Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. 
And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. Think Sloan's first. We've been with Sloan Implement since uh, uh, my father started farming, my grandfather started farming. They are a family business that's been around for generations, and that's very important to us. Think Sloan first now during deer season on a John Deere 1025R compact utility tractor. Your Sloan deal includes tractor, loader, plus mower deck. Get 1.9% for 84 months. That's just $238 per month. Think Sloan's first. Hi, I'm Fiona Rataj with the League of Women Voters of Dane County. Here are three things to know. Make sure you are registered to vote at your current address. You can check or register at myvote.wi.gov. If you do not have a Wisconsin driver's license or state ID, you can register to vote with your municipal clerk by completing the registration form on my vote. Absentee ballots must be requested. Three things to know. Part of News 3 Now's Three Cares Community Impact. Coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News, the Boeing backlash on Capitol Hill. The questions from Congress today over the airplane manufacturer's safety procedures. Plus a whistleblower's allegations that the company took shortcuts. We'll have that headline and more on tonight's CBS Evening News. Well, let's get back to Jacob. One final check of the forecast. Yeah, we're going to see some more rain tomorrow, but the rain does look to be pretty light over the weekend. We'll see those temperatures cool down a little bit as we are going to still see sunshine despite the cold weather. It will be pretty windy on Friday, especially later in the day. For next week, we do have another chance of rain on Tuesday with some smaller chances of rain throughout the week. Temperatures are not really going to be warming up too much, only going to warm up to the 60s. And uh, by the time that we get to the end of the forecast, we'll see average highs in this average highs in the 60s. So we're starting to get the time of year where, you know, 60s are going to be regular. But at this point, we aren't going to see a lot of 70s for the next couple of days or at least the next week or so. But they'll return eventually. All right, Jacob, thanks. We're back in 30 minutes for News 3 Now at 6. CBS Evening News is next.